Okay, if you're encountering this error, TLS initialization failed. That means that most likely your Qt kit doesn't find the OpenSSL library. And the solution is pretty simple. All you have to do is open your Qt maintenance tool, go add or remove components, and inside of Qt, developer and designer tools, to the bottom, it's OpenSSL toolkit. Inside of there, you can choose which OpenSSL you would like, 64-bit or 32-bit. In my case, it's 64. Also, download the OpenSSL source code. Go next and finish the installation. Open your .pro file. Open your Qt directory. In it, open tools, open SSL, in my case, Windows, and then lib. What you will add here is libs plus equals dash L, and then copy the path to the library directory on Windows, change the dashes, and type in the name of the library. After running this, it will still not work. What you need to do is go into your project settings. In my case, it's Qt 5.15.2. Enter run, find path, open again your library, go one folder back, then open bin, and you need to include the path where your DLLs are. So at the end of this string, add the path to the bin, and then when I run this, it should work. The second way of doing it is like this. If you go into your Qt, go inside of tools, find OpenSSL, directory based on your operating system, copy all these files, find your kit, find your bin folder, and inside of that, just paste this. Let me clean this up. And there you go. On top of that, if you want to be extra sure, you can go into your main and print out these two logs. For that, you would need to include QDebug and QSSL socket. Now, if you run it, it will print out if it supports SSL and the version of OpenSSL. 